Hey everyone, I am back in Costa Rica. It's time for an update on the Land Cruiser project down here. So it's been a couple months. All the mechanical work has been done. We'll get to that in a little bit. But right now, even though we're outside, we're at the paint shop. And we're going to do a kind of a redo of our apparently nice paint, which does look good from afar. If you're half a block away or even a, I don't know, a couple cars away, it looks really nice, but there's some issues. So a lot of it was just overspray and you know, whoever did the paint, you can see there's a lot of overspray in here. Didn't do the best prep work. We got some paint drippage right there, but we do have some issues down here with rust on the bottom door panel. And this is on the other side as well. And with some in the back. So even though most of this is really nice, it would clean up good. We're gonna go ahead and fix all this and do a full repaint. Same color. Take a look inside. A little bit of action here in the interior. Bit of a disaster, but that's what projects look like. So all our panels are off. We got seats out, carpets out. We're starting to get rid of all this. Uh, the sound deading material and some stuff from the factory. And we have a bunch of the sound mat. So I brought this in about uh, ooh, heavy stuff, about 50 pounds of this. And we're going to be putting this all throughout the entire vehicle, which is going to be a huge improvement on sound quality, ride quality, and um, definitely a lot of spaces to fill. So we're going to be putting in all these panels. Typically this is not covered, but I'm gonna go ahead and cover this as well because being a wheel well, a lot of noise gets transferred through here from tires and rocks coming up. And we'll have to adjust our carpet, our new carpet coming in to cover this. So the whole roof is going to be, the roof liner is gonna be torn out and we're gonna do the roof as well. This is gonna be, this headliner is gonna be new and we're gonna double up basically everything from the feet forward. We're gonna double up this material to really quiet it down and take out the heat from the uh, motor compartment and transmission, typical noise that comes through. Also, we'll be repainting this dash up in here, all the metal, and it's gonna make it look really nice. Unfortunately, my dash over here is a little old. That's going to be a tough one to find to replace the plastic. We'll see what we can do. But the plastic itself is pretty decent. We're going to replace all of the rubber in here, all in here. And we have the new latches, the new handles, and what I mentioned with the sound mat, we're going to do this. This is a little bit of a factory sound mat or, you know, a little material, but we're going to go ahead and do this whole thing, really quiet it down. Even in here a little bit, there's some, a lot of sound comes through. So you can see this is the overspray of the paint. Not the best job, but it looks good from far, but there was some detail issues we're going to have to go through. And you can see here quite a bit of rust coming through. All this is going to be fixed. Coming around the other side, you can see the rust coming through here. So that's not going to fix itself. We're going to pull out all the, the windows and fix all this too. This is going to be replaced. You can see there's some separation. And this other driver's side, you can see down here. And of course, over here in the corner, 
this is the weep holes. This is gonna be fixed. So the main reason this is like this is that the uh, rubber here was leaking. So we're getting a lot of water inside. So let's take a look at the work we did mechanically. We spent about uh, a month and a half or so. Um, actually a little bit longer, but a good amount of time in the mechanic area of our restoration. So there's a pretty good list of things we did, but every single filter was changed. All of the uh, fuel, air, all the liquids, oils were changed out, including radiator, um, of course, oil, differentials, uh, everything. We have a new timing chain, new water pump. Um, the injectors were good. There's a new steering cable, or I'm sorry, a, um, the steering box was rebuilt down in here. We have some leaks, so that's been removed and rebuilt. Uh, new speedometer cable installed. The brakes were re gone through and all of the bearings were replaced down here. So no more leaks. And what we do have is a electronic differential lock, but it has been disconnected. So at some point this had full front and rear lockers and the rears were removed maybe because they stopped working and got locked up. But we do have the front locker and we're missing some parts to test it. So I'm going to be putting in a new Eaton electronic locker, e-locker. But let's uh, see how it sounds. As you can see, we do have the factory diff lock in the instrument panel, but it's not working right now. The rears have been removed and we're missing the little brain master up in the engine compartment. So we cannot test the front locker right now. Let's see what happens. Timing belt light. We got the filter, preheater. There it is, engaged. I don't think this thing's been started for a little while. Let that do its thing. Let's see what happens. We have ignition. Just a quick test of the blow-by. As you can see, it's nice and loose. And there's nothing going on really, so it's a solid motor. The compression came out at about 410, even across all six cylinders. It's February 4th and we are back at the shop. Let's see what's been done. Today is gonna be the start day of sound deadening mats. And we have new paint, nice and shiny. So still got to get rid of all this material. 
clean up a little bit more and get it ready for the installation of the mats. But it looks like it's been primed. All the bodywork's been completed. There's some areas cut out here. That were rusted out. And down here as well, it's been reconstructed. All this will be exposed and then our panels here, which are going to be rip holster, are going to cover up. Typically this is exposed, but we're going to cover this as well. So we can help out with the sound. And that's going to be done up. And what I did find out was this has a rear windshield wiper set up, which I did not know about. So this came from factory and I'm going to do my best to find parts to get this hooked up and working. These are all been sealed up. So we're still going to paint this as well. And looks like everything else has been done really nice. Got a few cut. Got my area cleaned. And we're gonna start stacking them in. Getting a little later in the day, but we're making some progress. So there's three sections here and we got two of them done. Last one we're cleaning up and gonna get this uh, thing finished up for today. Got a few pieces on the side but I'm gonna have to come back and do the rest. So there we go. Not much of a difference yet. This stuff isn't the thickest, but it's gonna do its job. It will make a difference. I got the uh, 50 mil. But for here, I have some 80 mil and this will really cut down some of the noise down here that comes from the drivetrain. Oh, we're back out here at the Land Cruiser 70 series project. And when we left off on Friday, today's Monday, we got these put in on the roof. Ran out of light. And with this nice box we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish everything off, get these sides in, possibly the uh, flooring, and we have these doors. Not sure about the access on the back doors, Let's see if there's panels I can get my hand in. We'll find that out when we get there. Let's see how far we can get it today. I am back at the project today. I don't even know what day it is, but they are blending together and my little laminus, my sound sheets are blending together as well. So a little explanation. This will be the last video until this thing is painted. I'm going away for a couple weeks once again. But we have the entire J70 wrapped from the inside in the, what is it, CLS? sound panels, these little uh, sheets here. This is 50 mil. We got 50 mil all through the back and the sides. The doors are already done. And here I was able to get some 80 mil. So come in a little bit thicker through here just to get a little bit more sound proofing where most of the noise comes out of the drivetrain. The muffler happens to run through right here and takes a, a hard turn and goes out that corner. But so what we're finding out is that this vehicle, as cool as it is, factory front and rear diff lock, one HZ motor in it, the 4.3, two. This thing has been touched quite a bit. Right here, you can see this has been cut 
So this came original factory jump seats, one here, one there. They came in with some of that diamond plating, formed up a little bracket, and threw in one of these two-person jump seats, or not a jump seat, front seat, where you can fit one normal sized person and a little sized person. But it did not come from factory like that. As you can see, we have all these wiring for the little uh, console that comes right here. So this thing came from the factory, pretty wired up. It even has, you can see over here, this is the rear windshield wiper assembly tank. There's a motor, all kinds of stuff. But it wasn't in here when I picked it up. I didn't, had no idea it was even there. So this thing came from the factory pretty loaded with extras. And we're going to do our best to get everything hooked back up. Lots of wiring harnesses to deal with, kind of cracked and broken. But that's not going to be taken care of today. That's a whole nother project. All of our heating, there's no AC, but this is full of dust. This thing was spent most of its time in a farm, most likely, or it went through a lot of dusty roads because it is full of dust and dirt. But we're cleaning it up. What I'm going to do is disassemble this whole dash and really get some of this dust out, especially within the HVAC system, the heating possibly even install AC at some point, but we want to get these all nice and clean. So what we're going to do today is finish with my 80 mil throughout the front cabin area and leave some of this here open because I have a guy coming out hopefully this weekend to take a look. He's a parts guy out here and we, if we can get this center console, I'm going to go ahead and move this back to a two person two jump seats instead of the bench in the front get it kind of back to stock this thing I don't believe came stock with the it has the, the side little flip downs for more cargo I believe this could have came with the bench seat in the back but we're gonna leave them cargo style I happen to like that you get more room back here just not as comfortable to sit in if you have more than two people but besides that this thing's gonna come out really nice and it's just all kinds of wires hanging everywhere that we're going to have to deal with. But you can see it's going to sound much better once it's all put together and we have the interior put back in. And we're really going through everything, getting rid of all the rust. There wasn't much on here, but you can see even this bolt will have to be dealt with at some point. Not today. So we are going to repaint this stash in here. It's definitely seen a little bit of scratches here and there, but all in all, it's not damaged by any means. A couple little tiny dents up in there. Nothing really worth getting worried about. The plastic itself is decent. And the motor has already been gone through. Lots of new parts, timing belt, water pump. It's pretty solid. Um, we're gonna have to tidy up a few wires and you know look for just little missing uh, tubes here. Looks like with vacuum or something. But once it's all painted, which should be next week, this will get all buttoned back up and it'll eventually go to a, another shop to have this looked at to see if we can get these seats put in correctly and then it's on to the issue with the differential so we have a factory locker in here the one in the rear is missing it was damaged so they deleted it so we got to find a new factory locker to make this thing how it was well i think that's going to wrap it up for this project it's pretty complete. Just those couple spots in there that we have to take a look at for mounting our seats. We're not gonna cover those yet. Wheel wells inside our fenders over there too. 
this was a surprise and we took the panels off. We'll have to deal with that another time. Ceiling, all nice and done. And then we do have that 80 mil, 50, 80, over here in the passenger and driver compartment. Might help out a little, might not. We'll find out later. But that's gonna be it. So next time we see this thing, it should be painted and put together all the glass in, along with all of the new weather stripping from the Toyota factory. Doors as well. It's gonna be a complete vehicle. Well, look what's back here after months and months of being away. We have a freshly painted HZJ 70 1995 Land Cruiser. Factory color. This is a, I would say a stage two restoration. So let's open the hood and see what surprise we have. One hand's already been popped. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Gas struts. Look at that. That makes it nice. So what makes this one special is all of the weather stripping is factory from Toyota. Uh, these bump stops, obviously the gas struts are aftermarket, but all of the weather stripping. This is a new window as well. New, factory new, factory new, factory new. And of course, oof, that sounds good. Factory new. And inside, this is all the spare parts. From the other videos you can see, this was covered in sound deadening, you know, hush mat, different brand, but so this thing really sounds nice and nice and tight. Rides really clean, if you can say that. All of this factory weather stripping makes the difference when you're doing a restoration. Let's see how it sounds. Wow. And when this thing was purchased, you could put your fingers in here. Now it's perfectly aligned. Lines are straight, although that door's not closed. Factory, factory. Not factory window. Repainted dash. Black, been repainted. Panels are on, but they are gonna be changed out when we figure out the seating situation. New headliner. And once again, let's see how it sounds. I like it. A little bit noisy in here, but you can see what's going on. We got new brackets. This one's getting formed right now. This was the other one, the original move from here to here. It's so got the bolts are in there. Ready to go. So 
so we've made a big step in the progress of the HJ70. So we have new seats. So like I said before, this thing originally came with the two seater and they did some custom work at some point and moved some brackets around and made it into the kind of older style three seater across. So it's got the big passenger with the small uh, driver's seat and that's right over here. So um, we basically found a set of seats that look pretty good, match up well. It's a Montero 2002 and um, we had to create some custom brackets which you see right here. The original is kind of right behind it. There's the original. That's the new one, but they did come go right into the center bracket perfectly. So we had a reference point. And here has also been done up. So both of them are in. We got plenty of space now to get a factory con center console or either do a custom box or even one of the toughy boxes. Kind of customize that as well. But I do have my space available and it's just much more comfortable. These seats are a huge upgrade. So it's got some contour back here and they look nice for getting something direct from a used seat lot. These things don't look too bad. So on to the next project, which is to do the uh, tapicero. In other words, the interior. So we're gonna get the carpet kit back in do a custom one. There's some random holes here and there we gotta fill in. I got to uh, finish off my little spot that I left empty for these, for the welding job I knew I had to do with the sound deadening. So I'll fill that in and we'll keep at it. More progress.